says troops won't be heading into the country, but some are wondering if the United States has any obligation to intervene. Evan Kosloff is verifying that for us. Russia has begun its invasion of neighboring country Ukraine, and that's got a lot of people asking about NATO and the alliance's role in this conflict. So let's verify, does the U.S. have an obligation to intervene in this conflict? Our sources are the Charter of the United Nations, the North Atlantic Treaty, and John Koenig, a former political advisor to the NATO Joint Forces Command and a U.S. ambassador. First, some background. NATO stands for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and it was formed after World War II to prevent aggressive escalation by any world power. Article 5 of its founding treaty binds the members to help each other if that happens. Quote, the parties agree that if an armed attack occurs, each of them will assist, including the use of armed force. Basically, you attack one of us, you attack all of us. The United States, together with our allies, will defend every inch of NATO territory. Now, did you catch the president's emphasis there? There are 30 countries in NATO, but Ukraine is not one of them. It's technically a partner country, which does not give it the same benefits as a full-fledged member, like, say, Canada or the Netherlands or Romania. We do not have an obligation like we have with NATO allies to defend Ukraine, and that's an important point. We have defense obligations. We, we have a treaty obligation to allies. We do not have that with Ukraine. Now, the U.S. can intervene militarily through Article 51 because it essentially gives any U.N. country the right to defend any other nation that is illegally invaded. But because Ukraine is not in NATO, we can verify that no, the United States does not have an obligation to intervene now that Russia has invaded. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov.